Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Axioms of Acts, Principles to Live By. And today in Chapter 8, we look at a man who wanted the right thing for the wrong reason. Let's see how it worked out for him. Acts 8, 9 through 11. Now, for some time, a man named Simon had practiced sorcery in the city and amazed all the people of Samaria. He boasted that he was somebody great, and all the people both high and low gave him their attention and exclaimed, This man is rightly called the great power of God. And they followed him because he had amazed them for a long time with his sorcery. So, Kath, what is your impression of this fellow? Sounds like he just wanted power for himself so he would feel important. <laughs> right. And it actually goes beyond that because he used sorcery and claimed to be a power of God. So not only was he pompous, he was a big fraud. <laughs> and it sounds like he was pulling this, off, this ruse off for a long time. So let's uh, see what happens as he meets someone who is actually genuine in the faith. Mm -hmm. Acts 8, 18 through 24. When Simon saw that the Spirit was given at the laying on of the apostles' hands, he offered the money and said, Give me also this ability so that everybody on whom I lay my hands may receive the Holy Spirit. Peter answered, May your money perish with you because you thought you could buy the gift of God with money. You have no part or share in this ministry because your heart is not right before God. Repent of this wickedness and pray to the Lord in the hopes that he may forgive you for having such a thought in your heart. For I see that you are full of bitterness and captive to sin. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. This guy was so close to the truth, he even got baptized, it says. Mm -hmm. uh, but he thought the power of God was something you buy. And of course, in trying to buy it, he was after his own interest, not God's. Right. As a matter of fact, the term simony refers to buying your way into church office. Yep, still happens today. Now, his actions revealed his heart, and Peter warns him that this course is going to take him in the opposite direction, mm -hmm. away from God. As a matter of fact, church history claims that in time, Simon became a renowned heretic and an enemy of Christianity. Okay, well, last week's sermon related to the method. Mm -hmm. This refers to the motive. So, my axiom is, <laughs> it is possible to desire a godly thing for an ungodly reason, and you surely will suffer an ungodly outcome. Mm -hmm. Well, that's our axiom for today. May God bless you as you do life His way.